Hey guys, this is Sarah with Future Dreams to Reality, and if you haven't noticed already, I'm looking at my uh, peas, and it is the 5th of January. I meant to get out here right before New Year's uh, to film an update, but things got busy and I didn't get out here, and I really wish I had. I have some pictures of them in full flowering mode. You can see the remnants of some of them, but they've been really, really damaged by all this unreasonably cold weather we've had. It got into the teens the other night, which is pretty unheard of. <laughs> so um, I'm going to leave them and I'm going to let them grow, see if they recover or not. They were not covered with anything. I don't have anything to cover them with as of right now. So this is what we're looking at. They're all pretty pretty beat up. Uh, the one tall guy is wilty, but he's still there. He's still holding on. I've got some flowers that look like they're okay. I'll try and put in the pictures I took from my phone, but this is what we're looking at. So yeah, I'm sorry guys, but I guess this cold weather decided to uh, surprise us. <laughs> but on the other hand, Look at all that, even with all this cold weather. So, I'll make another video about this, but that's the peas, that's what we're looking at, so. Hey guys, so what you're looking at right now are the peas on my chicken mar trellis, and they look pretty pitiful. All these leaves down here are pretty crunchy and dead. Um, all of the stems are laying over, wilted from all of this super cold weather. But there's one thing I wanted to show you, and it's that. And I really thought this was part of the tops that were laying over, but I was wrong. And I've never seen peas do this, and I'm not sure if it's natural or not. Let me see if I can get any closer in here. But you see the main stem right here. It branches off into the one with the dead leaves in the very middle of your screen. But it also has these new shoots, and this is one of them. And I'm really, really interested to see where this goes, because this is not the only plant with it. This one has it. That one has it and that one has a little bit of one and then both of these have new growth on it so i'm glad i left these in the ground we're gonna see what this does um oh, i forgot to say what today was uh it's january 27th so almost time for me to upload this video i have a little bit of footage uh from the beginning of january that i haven't uploaded yet so i'm gonna compile these two together and we'll see where it goes i'm really really interested to see if those will take the place of these and um, produce in their place. So, if I can actually zoom out here. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm really interested to see where this goes. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. On a completely unrelated note, my red clover is doing amazing.